Hello, I'm here working on a golf cart. It's laying on its side as I'm doing all kinds of fun stuff to it. Mostly the battery boxes. And uh, since I'm doing that, I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff. I've got everything cleaned up. All the electrical connectors, all nice and shiny. So I'm putting on the heavy duty leaf springs here. And what happens when you put the, uh, it's not the stiffest, this is the uh, a dual action. So you get an extra spring all the time. And then if you get a lot of load, this one will stop excessive travel but these last two here extend this out further than the original mount so here's the original shock top here and it's actually a 10 millimeter and it's a 1.25 thread so I was looking at getting the extensions here but then it would be way too much extension since the bottom rubber is down here there's just four inches of travel and this would eat up two or three inches right here therefore there'd be no travel left over so what I ended up doing after a lot of research and not any other YouTubes out there is I just cut off right here so I'm just gonna give you the final answer what I did not the options you could do so I cut it off right here and there's a lot of 3 8 by 16 choices out there as well as the uh, 24 but I went with this coarse thread so I took the uh, die for 3 8 by 16 and since this is 10 millimeters it's exactly right to be cut and then the uh, the teeth in here will trim it down as needed so you'll have no black showing and it wasn't too hard to get it done done by hand so I cut it off here to get things started I threaded it on so this whole area was threaded then I measured what I needed to hit for half of this coupler which is the same it, this one happens to be stainless it's the only one they had in the um, coarse thread at ACE ACE has great fasteners so I, I went a half inch here so that I would go half engaged on this side and then ultimately The other half here will engage into the other side and I can pop them down so right here I have a three inch continuously threaded machine bolt machine screw two and a half would probably be ideal but ace didn't have that in their selection so two and a half would put it ideally I'm probably not going to bother with uh, cutting it down because I'm getting tired of working on this thing so you can see down here here's the extra height that you got to deal with here if you do a lift suspension it lifts on this side so it doesn't affect the span but if you do the heavy springs it does affect the span and of course you can set however much compression you want on the rubbers they just started to bulge so I called it quits there and this is the original 10 millimeter 1.25 thread and over here is now going to be 3 8 coarse which is 16 so I put a uh, flange nut on here just to help disperse some of the force probably not necessary regular nut probably just fine or, or nylon and then uh, no, nothing special up here so this stays put so now you got a threaded stud you got a coupling to receive it Put it on there and now I can just thread it on pretty good one-handed and it'll bottom out right there so now all I'm gonna have to do is just crank against here to here to seat that inside and this is already where I want it to be so this is a this is actually compressed, jammed, so this has got a lot of uh, friction, compression on the threads. And that was the easiest solution I could come up with after way too many hours of trying to see what I could do. This was uh, just under $5. The screw was like a dollar and a quarter. The jam nut was 80 cents. So there you go, I looked at other options. And just getting a metric coupler was anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars each and then it's kind of nice to have the standard here 
and yet not have to worry about over here and just leave that as is. And now I've got a longer shock for a slightly elevated suspension. Hope that helps. Have a good one.